guys welcome back to the quantity solving workshop and in today's video in the measurement of quantities for substructure we are going to be treating earthwork support and determined treatment concrete in foundation and block work in foundation in the previous video we measured for foundation trench excavation and we calculated for the main gates of the entire building when we move further all we just need to do is to describe and measure, describe and measure. No serious calculations or no more calculations are required anymore. So what I'm going to be doing in this video, I'm going to be teaching you the nature of these operations and how they are carried out and the measurements and description of these four operations. Now, the first is network support. Why do we carry out network support or what is this? network support there are some times in the site where after we finished digging our um, trench you will notice that the side of the trench let me just use this diagram the side of this soil here will begin to fall back inside the trench and we don't want that we want this soil to remain so that workers can be able to put in this foundation footing here so there's what we call shoring which is either made of wood or made of metal this shoring are going to be placed on the side or on the edges of this excavation on the edges of this excavation on both sides so that it will prevent the soil from falling back falling back into the foundation the trench footing so how do we measure for this earthwork support to measure for this earthwork support we're going to be needing two measurements which is the gate of the entire building and the height of the trench now you know that you know that we're going to be digging a trench round the entire wall of this building both internally and externally now this shoring are going to be placed around the the excavation of the trench so we need the gates of this entire building and we are also going to be needing the height that we calculated for the trench in the previous video that's the height of this excavation we're also going to be needing it now if you notice i said we are going to be needing the gates and the height that shows that air tour support is measured in what meter square in the previous video we calculated our gate to be 99,525. so let me just write it down here so that we can remember gate is equal to 99,525. And the height of the trench is equal to 1,175. So now we describe open network supports. to the faces or sides anyone you choose of excavation not exceeding two meters deep then what we close so what are the um, values that we're going to be measuring we're going to be measuring the gate and we're going to be measuring what the height now the gate is what 99.53 and the height is what 1.18 now this height is for just one side here for one side here but we need for both sides the showing that the shorings are going to be on both sides of the trench so we're going to be cancelling it by what soon and this is what it means 
So after you finish booking this, you are done for what network support. The next thing we are going to be booking is what antitamite treatment. There are some times when we carry out our excavation, we begin to see insects that could hinder um, the optimum operation on the site. Insects like termites, insects like snakes, scorpions, all those reptiles and animals that are detrimental to workers on the site. We need to spray insecticide to kind of kill or uh, chase away those insects away from the site. Like I said before, all we're going to be doing is to describe. What we're going to be describing is um, apply anti termite treatment to the base and sides. Of foundation excavation from this description it means that we are going to be spraying the anti termite solution on the base of the foundation trench and on the two sides of the foundation trench so which means when we are booking we are going to be booking from the base and what for the side and the measurement for antitermite treatment is in is in meter square so we're going to be needing the get and the base and also we're going to be using the get and the two sides of the foundation trench so this is how we book it the get of the building is what 99,525 which is this and the base of the foundation trench is 625 to navigate by what 0.68 we close this one this one is for the antitermite treatment that we're going to be spraying at the base throughout the gate of the building and the next one will be the antitermite treatment we're going to be spraying at the side of the building so it's now be 99.53 by what 1.18 So since there are two sides, we are going to be timesing it by what? So, very straight to the point. As far as you've already calculated your get and your get is correct, the rest just be describing and be, be measuring the um, values. So um, I forgot to add one um, operation here that is supposed to be before anti termite treatment, which is leveling and compacting. This leveling and compacting, we carry out this leveling and compacting um, before we spray our anti termite treatment. This leveling and compacting, all it just entails is to make this base. You know, when um, you pour sand in a particular area, the sand is not stiff. So you need to kind of press this um area this base with a compacting machine to make that place stiff that is what leveling and compacting means it means we need to level and compact the base of um, this foundation trench so like i said before you describe leveling and compacting to the base of foundation trench and leveling and compacting is measured in what meter square so we're going to be needing the guts of the entire building and the base of the foundation we know that our gate is what 99.53 which is in meters and the base of the foundation is what 0 0.68 which is in meters then we close this is this for leveling and compacting the next item we're going to be taking off for is what concrete in foundation now if you look at this foundation um this here 
is your foundation footing and this foundation footing is made up of what concrete and this concrete you know that concrete for different operation have different mix ratios of sand cement and aggregates now we are going to be describing the kind of concrete used to um, make this foundation footing like i said before you describe no need for calculation so we're going to be saying plain in situ concrete one ratio two ratio four this one ratio two ratio four is the um mixed ratio the cement sand and aggregate ratio that we're going to be using 19 mm aggregates this is how thick the aggregates on um, the gravel or stones we're going to be using should be that's 19 mm poured into foundation trench to form footing after doing this you want close concrete in foundation is measured in meter cube so what we're going to be needing is the gate of the entire building the length of the foundation footing which is 625 and what the height of the foundation footing which is what 225 so we book the gate is what 99.53 the width or the length of the foundation footing is what 0.68 and the height of the foundation footing is 0.23 then you what close doing this you successfully booked forward concrete in foundation and the next that we're going to be um, booking for is lock work in foundation if you notice in this diagram of a foundation trench after we finish putting or creating our foundation footing then we are going to start laying our what block at the center of the foundation footing so we need to book for the wall that was used in constructing the substructure and from this diagram here it was stated that our wall started from here and it ended what here just above the natural ground level and it is stated that from this the from the top side of the foundation footing to the natural ground level is given as what 1100 which means the height of our block work inside the foundation is what 1100 so we book now when you are booking for block work you need to know the kind of block you are using whether it is a sand creed block a land creed block brick whatever you need to be conversant with the kind of block that you are using and the size whether it is two to five block or 150 block you need to be conversant however it will be given to you in the drawing so now we know that the block work we are using is two to five two to five mm hollow sand creed block so we are going to describe by saying two to five mm thick Hollow sandcrete block work laid in stretcher bond. This is the, the pattern in which the um, block was laid. You know, there are different types of bond there's stretcher, there's Flemish, there's English bond. There are other types of bond, but we mostly use stretcher bond in Nigeria and most African countries. So, in stretcher bond, one ratio four, cement and sand mortar. So this is the mortar 
we're going to be using to lay the block in what foundation then we what close block work in foundation is measured in what meter square so we're going to be needing the get of the entire building and the height of the block work and we know that our get is what 99.53 and the height of the block work in the diagram was what 1100 which is 1 1.10 then we what close and this is this for block work in foundation the next operation we're going to be looking at is feeling to make up level and i'm going to be treating that in the next video so i hope you enjoyed this video guys and if you had adequate knowledge from it please don't forget to like subscribe and share this video to your colleague um if you don't understand any part of this video please i would like for you to state whatever you don't understand in the comment section so that i can review it thank you for um watching and i will see you in the next video